Welcome back to Resonating Through Art. Resin is an amazingly versatile substance. Crystal clear, water-like, it allows us to create suspensions that mimic 3D dimensions simply by layering them. Yes, I told you we'd get to this. And here we are. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to create a basic goldfish through layering. Let's get started. You can use a wide range of containers to pull this off. For starters, I recommend the Humble Terracotta Pot Saucer. These can be found in many different shops and are very inexpensive. They're also wide, which is easier to work with. Once you master this base, you can get more daring with fancier, narrower, and deeper objects. For layering, you want a resin that is a touch thinner and allows bubbles to escape. In my stock, that's the ClearCast 7000. This is a nice one-to-one -one ratio that makes the layering fuss-free. I like not having to babysit for bubbles. To begin, we make our first layer that will create space between the fish and the pot. Your volume needed will depend upon your dish's depth and width. There isn't an easy way to guess that, so experience will be your guide. For the illusion to work, you want at least a quarter inch from the bottom, maybe a touch more. When in doubt, use less resin and pour a couple more layers. If unsure, once cured, you can place a small object on it and look at the shadow. Roll the dish to coat the sides. This will seal in any dust or debris and have your layers bonding with resin instead of the container. If you want, you can also add some pebbles or fish gravel to the bottom layer for interest. Spritz with 91% isopropyl alcohol to get rid of the bubbles. And cure in a dust-free space. In my case, I'm using my heat chamber. Once cured, it's time for a guide if you'd like to use one. I took photos of my own pet goldfish from above and resized this one to fit the dish. You can also freehand, but this helps you get the hang of the proportions when first starting. Use something sharp to scratch the outline. Remember the layers of resin will erase this. Pretty neat, huh? And now for the first paint. This layer is all about the fins. I like to use white with a silver or a pearl acrylic paint, working it so it's still a touch translucent.
make sure to work all the way under the fish's body. Then, a quick trick. Make a little connection point from the fin and tail to the center line. This will ensure you won't have um, disembodied fins. Yes, I have done that. Also, keep in mind once you pour a resin over a layer, you cannot adjust the paint, so make sure you like each one. Once the paint is dry, pour a thin layer of resin. Once again, the depth is important here. You want it close to an eighth of an inch or so. If your layers get too deep, the details won't align right and you'll get a mutant fish. Roll the dish to settle out the layer. Spritz for bubbles and cure. Take the cured dish out and realign your fish template if using one. Now redo the outline of the body. Nice and slick, right? Now to fill in the body lines with your colors.
try to shade the outside as if the light isn't fully hitting it. This lends the 3D aspect. Light in the center. Yes, more layers will be over this and it won't show as much, but it will help you as you build up. Don't forget the fish lips with a highlight for shape. Keep working the base until you're happy. This is the widest your fish will be, so make sure you are satisfied. Can you guess the next bit? That's right, we pour another thin layer of resin. Spritz and cure. Not the most exciting step, but it's worth the wait and the repetition, I promise. Okay, so fish need to see. Time to scratch in the eye placement. Go for the width and the depth of the eye from your template. Paint in the eyes with a metallic. Silver or gold are often the best. Fish eyes are reflective. While that dries a bit, start working on the spine. Spread the paint outward from the center line and taper it, not coming to the full width. your time. Put lines in this layer for the gills. These come from the edge by the eye and swoop up toward the center point. 
Fill in the center of the head and ease the paint down so that it fades, once again going transparent. The head is the hardest. If the edge is too thick, it will cast a shadow. Letting it fade out tints it. Remember this layer is a taper. Add the black to the center of the eye. And now let it dry. Add another layer of resin once the paint is dry. Of course, now we have to wait for the cure stage. Have I mentioned this is the boring part? I know, I know. The waiting is killing me too. But I'll be good. Don't try painting on uncured resin. Your brushes will really hate you. You made it this far. Now we add a little ridge just off to the center of each eye. Fill in the center of the head, making the space a bit smaller and narrower. Pull the line down the center. Work in a brighter highlight color. You can do more layers at this stage for a more complicated fish. This is just showing the minimal to obtain the illusion. I do like to add a little bit of metallic at this level for the sheen. In this case, it's gold, just on the top line. Pour your resin once more, we're almost done. Spritz and cure. Time is not on your side in this process if you tend to like instant gratification like me.
Somehow I tamed that side of myself and produced a number of these. You can too. Now it's time for the top fin. Straight down the spine line, you'll match one inch. Offset the fin slightly and pull it out, as if the camera were viewing it slightly off kilter. This gives dimension to the fin. Yeah, this is in a nice silvery pearl color. You can use whatever you like. And guess what's next? Do I need to say it? Well, here's the good news. If you painted the fin, this layer can be a touch deeper, especially if you're going to add something floating on the surface. After it cures, we'll decide. There are a number of plants you can add to your fish's environment. The simplest is pond or duckweed. It's a small green leaf that floats on the top of ponds in sets of four and tends to clump. Use a brush and place four dots in a little quad. Repeat until you are satisfied. One last resin coat. This is a thin one simply to protect the final layer of the acrylic paint. And voila! One unkillable fish, made entirely of paint layers suspended by resin. No water changes, no feeding, just beauty. Isn't that neat? It's also not the only thing you can do with this technique. You can layer in other animals, different fish, and plants. Use different types of containers with different sizes and depths for variety. It seems so daunting, but this technique isn't too hard once it's broken down. Use more or less layers to your fancy. Heck, even make a school of goldfish. Why not? Just be creative. I hope you'll join me for more resonating through art. In the meantime, be sure to check out foxysartbox.com to catch up on all my blogs and check out some of my cool creations.